Well, my new album, Entangled Fortunes, has all been all recorded now, and you might wonder, how did this come about? Well, some of those musicians on the album playing so well are people I've actually worked with for many years. For example, case of Robert Irvin, cellist. First met up at the Bracknell Festival in 1986, when, in fact, that string trio that's on the album was being premiered. And I've kept loyal to those musicians over the years, working with them, like Ruth Morley in the Scottish Flute Trio. And in the orchestras, I've worked with uh, many of the players. But we thought we would get together and cut out the red tape and go for crowdsourcing. And it really worked. We had actually almost a comedy gem Maybe we will submit it to some comedy festival, but nevertheless it succeeded in raising the required money and that was what was needed. So we didn't need to apply to the Arts Council. Delphian, with the, all the resources, stepped in on top of the crowdsourcing and we were able to get this album out. Uh, but the actual uh, fundraising video was maybe the hit of the, uh, the effort and we went into the crowded shopping street of the West End, Byers Road, and asked random strangers, do you know this guy, Eddie Maguire? Um, as it turns out, I was one of these people in the street, and I did know an Eddie Maguire, he's a rather notorious Australian sports presenter. Um, we eventually sent the video to him, but as far uh, as this moment, no response. Um, but we are going to be proud of that, that funds were raised entirely by the group and the record company and we're pressing on and with all my colleagues that have been playing the music tremendously I may ha add in the recording sessions recently we are really looking forward to the release of Entangled Fortunes later in the year.